Hi, this is Erica from the Davy Institute. This video is the third and final part describing how to work with the mobile data collector for iTree Eco projects. So in the first two, we uh, set up a project, we submitted it to mobile, we retreat, and then we um, were out, you know, show, I was showing you how to input the data into the mobile data collector form. So we're now back in Wi-Fi, we're back in the office, we are ready to retrieve our data. I've opened my, our project and this is the metadata table that comes up. We are going to want to go to the data tab and you can see here that the retrieve from mobile option is highlighted. So click on that. You're going to enter the password that was created when we submitted the project to the mobile. We're going to click on show list and this is going to show us the um, projects so far, um, the options we have. So click on which one you would like to retrieve. And you're going to click on retrieve data. I have successfully imported one data set. If you want to go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Now this was for our inventory project. So we can click on the trees and as you can see I collected data on a whole two trees. So there's our tree information right there. Now this is for an inventory project so um, there are not plots associated with this. Um, just depending on what type of project you have set up um, these uh, windows will look a little different and your, your options up here will look a little different as to what um, data you are looking at. So please make sure that you re you're retrieving your data, um, that you make that a regular part of your data collection routine, preferably retrieving the data after every data collection session. Data is n the data that's not retrieved will be stored on our server, but only for a, a very limited time. So for answers to all of your questions, um, you can go to the support tab and you can access the user manual here. You can look at the individual user guides here. And this is our website. So we've got, here's the main page of our website. A lot of good information up here. A lot of good information under the resources tabs. Here's those manuals and workbooks. Here is all about information about support. And as always, you can reach us with your emailed questions at info at itreetools.org. So thanks for your interest in iTree and uh, good luck with your projects.